I literally had to like restart this video because like I literally started like tearing up and hopefully I, I can get past this so I won't tear up because today you guys this video is going to be such a dark and deep video. Family members began to question Dothan mother Ja'Kayla Williams about the story they were told regarding her baby boy. They wanted to visit the child at Southeast Health and make sure the baby was okay. But when they went to the hospital and asked them about the incident, police say they had no record of the baby being dropped off. Because I am floored by the, like, the amount of videos I keep seeing of women um, throwing away their babies in the garbage can. Like, you guys, I am floored and I am disgusted because these people don't deserve to live. Like, that's just how I feel. Like, you don't deserve to live, bitch. Like, you don't deserve to live. But anyways, oh my God. Whew, I had to take a deep breath. I have a story for you guys I want to bring to your attention. <laughs> um, it's a very disgusting story. It's a very disheartening story, gut-wrenching story, in my opinion. Um, if you don't think it, that it is when I tell you about it, um, you are a disgusting piece of shit, okay? <sighs> Y'all already know how I feel about abortion. Y'all already know how I feel about protecting children. I've always been about that. Um, I have little cousins of my own that I take care of, that I love, and that I go visit, and that I think that are going to be valuable, um, beautiful, stunning human beings in the future. I do. And I do think that one day I will want to be a father. I will want to adopt and also um, help children that are in need to get ahead in life and be the best valuable person in the world. That's just how I feel about children. That's how I feel in general. Children like me. I'm really good with children. I love I love kids, period. But what I don't like, bitch, this is what I don't like. This girl named Ja'Kayla Williams. And the fact that she has my last name makes someone throw the fuck up. I am disgusted. Now, Reading the story, I do think that this girl, she was 18 years old, she lives in Alabama. And we all know that Alabama has um, abortion illegal. Period. Let's start with that. But this girl, I do think that she was effing around. And, you know, she found the fuck out <laughs> and got pregnant at 18 years old. And I do think that she is very young to be... Um, fucking around and finding out and having the baby but this is what you don't do bitch okay so my family found out that she was pregnant and um after the fact that she lied to them and told them that she took the baby and gave it to some rando at a hospital come to find out this bitch then took the baby, wrapped it in a blanket, and threw it in the garbage can. <sighs> I am so sickening by people like that. Like, people like that don't deserve to live, in my opinion. Like, if you are throwing away, harming a child in any way, you deserve the death penalty. You deserve the death penalty. You deserve the worst of the worst to ever come to you. You hear me? And the fact that people out here would say... I know there's some people out there that would say this, bitch. I'm just beating you to the fucking punch, okay? Oh, see, this is what happens when you don't have um, legal abortions. Women, they just throw away their babies in the garbage cans. Women, they take hangers and they put it, they put it up their vagina. And, you know, they killed the baby that way. You should have free and legal abortions because that's health care. That's what people will say to justify a fucking woman to throw away their baby inside of a fucking garbage can and murdering the baby. That's what they would justify that. But it's like you do you don't you don't think you don't think in your brain like abortion is murder. Abortion is murder. I don't give a fuck, bitch. You have personal responsibility to not 
open your legs, bitch. Open thy legs. And suck and get in the buck with randos. And just because you're 18 years old, you definitely know what to do. We have sex education in schools, right? We have sex education in schools, right? But guess what? Sex education isn't doing anything but making kids and um, young adults to have more sexual desire, to do um, the unthinkable, in which is to get pregnant at a young age. And this is why we should abolish that shit in schools because this shit is getting out of hand. And especially right now with the culture of people thinking that it's okay to murder babies because they think it's too much for them. It's too much to take care of. It's too much money, too much this, too much that. They want to start their careers. They want to do this and do that. But they want to have the um, lack of responsibility to to know that like, you know, there are consequences into having sex with other people. You get pregnant, bitch. That's what happens. You get fucking pregnant. And there is no way, there's no way for people, I, I just, I can't stand people because they will try to justify this and be like, this is why you should have legal abortion. No, you should not. We need to start teaching women to have personal fucking responsibility and also men to have personal responsibility because you know what? It's your fucking responsibility to not open up your fucking legs, right? I'm sickening. I'm so sick of this culture. I'm so sick of these people. And you know what? Alabama. 80% of people are in, um, are fucking, are in, um, what? Are on death row. And they're considering to have Ja'Kayla Williams on death row. And I hope to God, I hope to God that she is put on death row. Because, bitch, what you do not do, you do not kill babies. You do not harm little precious human beings. Innocent. Did not ask for you to fucking open up your fucking legs. No one asked you to. No one asked you to be grown, bitch. You chose to be grown. Sit your ass fucking down, okay? Worry about fucking career. Take a fucking hobby. Stop opening up your legs to every goddamn body. And this is why I'm so insane right now. <laughs> like, this is why I'm so mad because people out there would justify this and think this is okay. And I just don't understand it. Like, Bitch, you're murdering a child either fucking way. Take some fucking personal responsibility. Wear a condom, okay, bitch? Wear a fucking condom. Because that's something that, that people don't like to talk about. Talk about personal responsibility. I know that, like, there are exceptions of the condom breaking and stuff like that. But, bitch, do something. Have some value on your fucking vagina for once in your fucking life. Stop giving up to every goddamn body. Stop trying to be grown. Just sit your fucking ass down. That's what I did. I sat my fucking ass down. I don't do shit. I don't do shit. Because I know there are responsibilities, bitch. There are responsibilities. And you know those responsibilities could be I could end up having HIV. I could end up having AIDS. I could end up having STDs. How about I just sit my ass down, wait for the man to come through that will love me forever? How about I just do that? I can wait. I'd rather wait. Because you bitches out there are disgusting. And women... Get it together, okay? Get it together. I'm sick of y'all making excuses for killing your own fucking bloodline, basically, okay? It's fucking disgusting. And that bitch, Ja'Kayla Williams, I hope death row comes knocking on her door. I hope. Because you're a devil. You're, you're a demon. You're demonic. You deserve the worst. You honestly deserve the, the worst. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, I just had to go take a breather because, like, that really took me out. I'm sorry, you guys. Like, I, I'm sorry for yelling and stuff like that. Like, I really don't usually yell in my videos, but, like, something like that makes me sick. Like, it just does. And it, it should make you sick, too. It should honestly make you sick, too. But we're going to go into something else that honestly makes me laugh, okay? Because <laughs> I think that this is so funny to me. Because I'm so sick of narcissists. I'm so sick of, like, um, the LGBT community. I'm so sick of the they, them um, piece of shit out there. I'm so sick of, like, everyone. I am. I really am. And, you know, I just want to watch this video, this video with you guys and react to it. Because I think it's hilarious to me, actually. You know?
it's his weird day them bitch of TikTok. were out there i praise you i praise you for kicking out that day them honestly i am i praise you because i'm so sick of these narcissistic people thinking that it's okay to try to like dictate what you can and cannot say nowadays girl like i'm so sick of this shit and i feel like the gays are sick of this shit too like even some of the dolls out there are so sick of this shit and i'm happy that people are trying to like stand up to this and honestly it makes me happy to see that like you see how happy i just got now it makes me so excited to see that gays are not like they're not full, they're not effing around with this bullshit out here okay they're not effing around and i'm just so sick of like the narcissism of these people to think that like you know everyone has to refer to them as a they them a frog or frog stuff all this kind of stuff today i'm going to be teaching you how to use frog frogs pronouns and sentences so let's go frog frogs pronouns that sounds so cool ding, ding, ding. and that's because it is cool because you have a mental illness something's wrong with your brain and you think that everyone else should like you know pander to that and you know congratulate that but no not everyone's going to do that and even the gays we're not going to do that i'm so sorry to tell you this but you're weird um you're crusty you're dusty no one likes you and i think that you should honestly go find your other your own your own club because we don't click the gays are not clicking with this bullshit and even some of the dolls are not clicking with this bullshit and i'm just so happy that someone actually told her like yes bitch cried out cried out because it's dumb it's stupid it's retarded it's dumb stupid and retarded and no one's going to go with that bullshit it's kitty shit i hate the kitty shit because honestly it kind of give me it's kind of perversive honestly because for a woman to call themselves a they them or a man to call him a, a dog and dress up as a dog and stuff like that like i just find it to be so perverse and so gross and so disgusting like why can't you just be normal pretty and be like me like normal pretty and just like cool like you know like why can you be like that i feel like some of these people they lacked friends friends or social um circles in in high school and stuff like that so like they became the weirdos um which a lot a lot and you know i like i used to like the weirdos but now the, now all of them are like mutilated and like gothic and ugly and stinky and crusty so i don't drive with like the weirdos anymore i used to be one to want to be one of them but like i'm so happy i found like i was more accepted with the straights like i have more straight friends than anybody like i'm like because i'm cool like i just be me i'm me like you know if you're not weird and stupid like people don't look at you crazy you know like and i had gay gay friends too like it's play the fucking game in life like you just have to like live your life and be cool and be collected and stop trying to be a narcissist and trying to like you know um make people fall into like a they them trap because like we're not going for that shit i'm so sorry to tell you this um does it make me kind of sad i'm not gonna lie it kind of does make me sad because um this person's gonna forever be ugly and their mind's always gonna be like infiltrated with they them bullshit and gender ideology so like they will never be happy and they won't be able to be like a person like me or like other gays out there and dolls out there that actually like you know understand like you know that one plus one equals two you know what i mean and they'll forever be the losers and when all this shit said and done all this stuff goes away and it's not a trend anymore where are they going to end up being it is really sad and i wish that like you know someone close to her would actually just tell her to stop being stupid and i think that she'll be fine but you know maybe she might have a breakdown and probably call the police on somebody because you know they don't agree with her gender ideology bullshit so 
it's insane to me. I just really wanted to share that with you guys and laugh with you guys about that because I think it's funny. I truly do. If you don't think it's funny, then get the fuck off my page. I don't give a fuck about you. Um, because I've been seeing a lot of people under my shorts and stuff like that saying stuff saying like, oh, my content's boring. My stuff is this and that. Well, bitch, you can suck my cock. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening to my tech talk. <laughs> I can't. I'm on one today, bitch. I'm on one today. <laughs> Anyways, um, see, it just made me happy. I love when people kick out they thems from clubs. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> okay. Don't look pretty today. Okay, anyways. Um, thank you guys for watching my YouTube channel. We went through a roller coaster, did we? <laughs> I had to take a break and then come back. <laughs> just, I can't. Um, I love you guys so much. Don't forget to watch all of my um, social medias. Go on TikTok. Um, my lifestyle TikTok, which is so fun. I don't have a lot of followers, like a lot of viewers on there, really. Because um, that, that, I mean, that account was banned before. So, like, not many people's on that. But please go enjoy my lifestyle um, TikToks. I think it's so fun and cool. Um, go check out my political TikToks. I love my political TikToks. So fun. You know, the fucking cockroaches out there keep on trying to report me um, to the fucking feds, bitch. <laughs> I'm still doing my thing and I'm so happy to um, be on there. And follow me on Instagram. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I love you guys so much. I, always, I do. And yeah. Bye. <laughs>